Well, hello again. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am out fossil hunting again, um, like always. And today I'm gonna try a couple of hours now of the work uh, and look for some uh, trial bites or perhaps some uh, Ordovician uh, fossils and uh, also some uh, late Cambrian fossils. This site we have uh, this kind of. Uh, limestone is white limestone, and we also have uh, oily shale. Uh, it's uh, late Cambrian, about 500 to 510 million years old, uh, oily stink stone. It's a bit bituminous uh, kind of a shale that contains trilobites, and also perhaps some brachiopods and uh, maybe a few other things. So uh, yeah, let's look around, see what we can find today. Well. So far, I haven't managed to find much. I've been digging around these, uh, yeah, these uh, limestone cliffs, and uh, apart from, uh, yeah, maybe a billion flies or so, I haven't found very much, except for this little beauty. This ain't a fossil, but it's uh, kind of a cool thing to see. This is a newt or a salamander, and uh, this is uh, the big. Northern uh, salamander, and uh, yeah, he was just hanging around here, lying under a, under a rock, resting. So I'll just uh, leave him here. Best of luck, little buddy. <laughs> now on to the fossils. So I've uh, managed to uh, to move on a bit uh, down to the uh, old quarry site, and as you can see here, this this band of white limestone. And right underneath, uh, you have some some of the shale. Uh, I've managed to find a few pieces of uh, of this kind of uh, shale, this alum shale, amongst some harder uh, oily shale as well. So uh, I've managed to locate some uh, some of those uh, oily shale bits, and I'll try to crack a few of those and uh, see what if anything turns up, but uh, here is a small part of this pretty big site. Uh, you can see all the limestone here around the edges and uh, the kind of stone we're looking for actually apart from eventually we can find something nice in the white limestone is uh, this kind of uh, this kind of grey uh, muddy oily shale. So. Uh, I'll crack on with some of these and see what turns up, if anything, and I'll get back to you. Well, like I said, I've been digging around these uh, shaley uh, stones. And you just have to split them and see what turns up. And uh, lo and behold, I found the first trilobite of the day. Perhaps the only trilobite of the day. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll try them. I'll try and zoom in a bit, it's quite small, but it's a complete trial bite. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Oh my god, these flies are gonna kill me today. Here we go. This is a tiny trial bite. It's called a uh, Peltura. And I think it's an, a Peltura Scarabioides. Carabao IDs or something in English. And there you have it. And a very nice small trial bite. And as you can see, compared to uh, <laughs> compared to my hand, it's a tiny one. But it's still nice. I'll take it. Well, I've been uh, digging around here for a bit more and uh, sometimes these uh, oily shale layers you can uh, oops you can uh, see these uh, beds of trilobite remains this e these are uh, the cephalons the heads of uh, peltura trilobites and you can find them in mass death beds if you will or accumulation beds uh, at a certain layer in between these uh, these oily shale beds there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of these 
uh, cephalons. Quite cool to see. Nothing to uh, to get home, unfortunately, but still very cool. Now, just to show you, uh, this is uh, this is alum shale. It's very very soft, and this is what they used to quarry here about a hundred years ago or so. This is uh, bituminous and is filled with oil. And you can, when you take this apart, you can smell it. Uh, unfortunately, this is not smell of vision but if, if you could smell this, it's, it uh, smells like petroleum. Very, very strong, uh, bitter odor of oil and petroleum. So uh, you can see why they, they uh, quarry this to, to make fuel. And uh, today it's just the these soft remains here. It's it's nothing to uh, explore further, I think. But uh, it's it's cool to see these layers of uh, uh, alum shale. So let's move on. This is all alum shale. All these sticking out from the sides here. It's all this. Very fragile, thin, thin shale layer. What I'm searching for is more of a harder rock that's often in between these layers of alum shale. There are those uh, bits of harder, oily shale stuff, and that's what I'm what I'm looking for. It's kind of this, like this one here. This is a part of the the uh, the oil shale bed. And you can also sometimes find concretions in these. Sometimes they contain sometimes they contain fossils. They're mostly empty, but sometimes you can strike lucky. And I think I'm just uh, gonna keep exploring here and see what's uh, what turns up. There are uh, kind of a swamp here, so there's there are a lot of mosquitoes and some lots of billions and billions of flies but it's still pretty pretty nice to be here I'll continue oh my god guys I am so thrilled I've just found a beauty actually it's the biggest one of these kind of travel bites I've ever found it's huge in, in these terms <laughs> I'm gonna show you I'm so happy with this find I can't even begin to tell you uh, I don't mind all the millions of flies right now. They're crawling in my nose and in my ear and they are, yeah, everywhere. But uh, I don't really care right now because this find is one of my best finds uh, of this year, actually. So uh, I'm gonna show you right now. This is the, the negative. And this is a uh, Peltura Scarabuides trilobite. And it's uh, one of the biggest ones, actually, I've like I said, I've ever found of this species. I'm very excited, it's complete. And uh, I'm gonna try and, and get this one out of the, of the rock because it's quite a big rock. But look at this beauty. There's the cephalon to the left here with two cheeks. And the, uh, oh God, there are mosquitoes here. Mosquitoes as well, sorry. They aren't in my ears. <laughs> I don't really mind anyway. This is a um, uh, this is the cephalon on the left side, and you can see the glob globella in the middle. And then you have the, the thoracic segments, and then the tail, the pygidium, uh, right at the back here. And you can see uh, compared to my to my finger, this one is actually for this species extremely large. Uh, I think it's about three three and a half centimeters in length. Something like that. I am thrilled! I'm so happy. Happy days! Let's crack on with it. Oh, I think I'm done with the, uh, the oily shale. At least for now. I'm gonna head up to a little bit higher level in the quarry here. And this is uh, where the, uh, the white limestone takes over completely. So, uh, oh my god, <laughs> those flies are really annoying. But uh, here we have a piece of 
white limestone walls an exposure that looks quite promising actually there are lots and lots of rocks that's just fallen down from the cliffs so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna take a look and see what turns up if anything so uh, wish me luck so uh, I've been looking around uh, here in the, uh, the white limestone layers for a little bit and uh, I managed to find another trilobite and uh, this is an enrolled uh, Nileus armadillo I think I showed you one of those the other day on another video but uh, I'll show you this one as well <laughs> here it is I'm gonna try and get this one out of the rock a little bit more because it's uh, well, it's not fully exposed, but you can see the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the uh, thoracic segments here, and you have the part of the eye over here, there. And the head, the cephalon, is still buried in the, in the uh, matrix. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and split this rock a little bit and try and get it out. And let's see if it pops out or if it's... well. It's a little bit damaged anyway, so I don't mind if it if it breaks. This is one of the most common trilobites to find in the Ordovician limestone layers. So um, I found a few of these already. So uh, just uh, let's try and get it out and see what happens. I'm gonna try and film this. <laughs> Wish me luck. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's pretty nice actually. Unfortunately, a bit of the, uh, the shell has come loose as well. But you can see the, the two eyes, one on the right and one on the left. And the cephalon and the labella in the middle. And then you have the thoracic segments. A bit visible here and then some of the pagidia or pagidium on the back nice find oh. oh I continue to to work on those piles of white limestone and so far nothing in particular has turned up and uh, I'm going to check these rock piles here as well. You never know what could be hiding here. What I hope to find is, uh, of course, trilobites. And in particular, I would love to find a Sheruri trilobite because I've never found a complete one of those. And, uh, well, all, all, it's always good and always fun to find trilobites, so I don't care too much as long as it's trilobites I'm happy so uh, let's continue here for a little bit and see what, what turns up what turns up and I'll uh, let you know if I if I find something uh, of interest so I've just found a uh, cross-section of um, of a cephalopod this is an orthoceras or endoceras and you can see the the chambers, uh, which the uh, squid, as it is, kind of a squid-like creature, they used it for uh, to fill them up with gas, so they could be floating in the water column. At least that's what everybody thinks. So this is a nice small cross section. Um, they're quite common, so uh, I won't be picking this with me. I could leave this for someone else to, to find, perhaps take home and have some pleasure with, <laughs> looking at. Uh, nice to see, by the way. Cool. Well, I think I am done for today. 
uh, all the flies, you can see them passing around my head right now. Uh, it's getting late, the sun is about to go down. And uh, I have a pretty decent, uh, oh my god, those flies, <laughs> sorry. Um, I have a long way to drive home, so um, I'll be heading back. When I get home, uh, I'll show you the, the finds again. When I get to clean them a bit more, and we'll do a, a little uh, wrap up. So, bye for now, see you later. Well, we are back in the shed, and uh, I'm gonna show you the finds of today, and uh, of course, the biggest find and the one I'm most excited about is the Cambrian trial bite. Uh, actually I found two. Um, I'm gonna go through them with you right now and uh, let's see what you think. I've got them a little bit cleaned and I've done some minor prepping as well so um, just to enhance them a little bit better. So uh, let's see what you think. Here they are in all their glory. So let's start with the uh, little guy. This is the first one I found. You can see the uh, crystallation in the rock. This is a uh, well, all of this is stink stone, as I said on the previous clips out in the quarry. You can see the calcite crystals here. It's actually pretty nice to have some of the crystals intact on the side here. And then there is the trilobite. This is a small. Uh, trilobite and uh, I think actually this is a Peltura minor Peltura minor as we say in Swedish and uh, it's a complete uh, trilobite uh, apart from uh, the cheeks that are uh, not quite there but otherwise it's, uh, it's a nice and complete specimen I'm rather excited about this I think it's going to be a great display piece. And then of course we have the big big Peltura Scorabeo IDs and uh, yeah I am really in love with this one. Uh, as you can see the uh, the sheets are a bit disarticulated. The, the one on the top of the head is supposed to go on the right side so it's been a little bit crushed and a little bit disarticulated and the other cheek is buried in the matrix or maybe lost I don't know I don't want to dig any more into this because uh, then it's just uh, a matter of time before I destroy it so I want to leave it as intact as possible uh, and as I found it actually uh, so I've just enhanced it a little bit with a with a bit of lacquer and uh, you can also see all the, the other trilobite cephalons and parts. There are also some tail sections and some smaller pieces of trilobites uh, all around. So it's quite a nice piece. I managed to trim down the, the rock a bit uh, from its original size. So I think this will be an awesome display piece. The trilobite is almost three and a half centimeters in length so it's absolutely the biggest one uh, I found so far from this species I don't think they will I will find another one this size because uh, I have actually never seen uh, uh, this big uh, from this species uh, I have some other ones that are about two two and a half centimeters so this is a this is a beast but it's my beast <laughs> and I love it I really love it and then this, uh, there is the uh, negative, the imprint of the trilobite. And I'll keep this as well because I think it's quite nice to have them displayed uh, side by side. So you can see the actual imprint as well as the actual trilobite. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, I'll, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'll be going on some uh, trips uh, to uh, different localities, so maybe I'll shoot another movie and share with you. I hope so. If you like this, please subscribe, please like, I'll be glad if you do, and uh, I'll see you around. Bye bye.